spoke about this before. He was supposed to come. Muriel? It is always favorable to be on good terms with the neighbors. He is right across the street and ready to help. By your request, honey. Listen, I don't need you to have an old Methuselah or anybody else spying on me. You have no right to do that. You have no right. Muriel, as long as you're fine, that's what counts. We were worried about you. You never answer the damn phone. <laughs>
forgive our intrusion and we are going to be more careful and not be so so out of order speaking of the devil to talk to Curtis. It's been a while since I've seen him. No, no, stop. We're not here for that. No confrontation, remember? Oh, there is no confrontation. We're talking amiably, right? Nothing out of the ordinary. I'm just asking a simple question about my dear brother-in-law and the roof. So what's the problem? I just want to talk to him. Just want to see him. I am not going to argue with him. That's for sure. You leave my husband alone. I told you once and I told you twice. I'm not going to tell you a third time. Do not spoil our weekend! Muriel, Muriel, everything is fine. Benita is just a little tired. Actually, the trip up here was not all that great. Uh, we have been exposed to these weather changes, you know, and her arthritis is starting to act up. Again, I'm just asking a simple question. Why does the roof still look like this, huh? It's been six months and the roof is in need of repair. Leaves keep falling inside. Soon it will be winter and you will freeze to death in this house, Muriel. So tell me, what is the excuse this time, huh? something a little sinister 
about the hate you display. You two wanted him. <laughs> oh my God. Miriam? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you put on this facade like, oh, I accept him because my sister married him. You're acting a fool with me. You're jealous and you want revenge. You're confused, Muriel. <laughs> you don't want nothing bad to happen to you. Can you understand me? Ever since Curtis came into the picture, I've always felt such negativity coming from you. I could never really put my finger on it. It took me a while to see your true colors, but now I see. What now? It's a negative vibe.
Benita, she doesn't mean it. She's just a little upset, that's all. Let's be patient here. So, that's the music that's been playing in your mind for all these years. You finally let it out. You actually believe that we are jealous of you and your beloved Curtis? That we want to break you to a pump? Benita, let's all stay calm and choose, choose our words wisely and just talk, okay? Talk. Let's communicate cordially. We are sisters. We are family. Curtis loves me. He loves me. He doesn't have eyes for anybody else. He never had and he never will. I'm the one and only woman in his life. Always was and always will be that way. Now take that, Benita. Let me explain something to you now.
Mr. Lawson come to fix the roof? What? No. I mean, I don't know. Somebody came knocking on the door earlier. Did you let him in, Muriel? Muriel, why didn't you open the door for him? We agreed he fixed the roof. He couldn't come and fix the roof because you didn't open the door for him. <laughs>